Hey, Line Crushers, uh, Dean back again for another quick video. Um, one of the things that, uh, you know, kind of traveling around and protecting your gear uh, that's important is uh, is a good piece of, you know, I guess, bow luggage. Uh, and there's some reviews out there on a few, um, but this is not going to be necessarily about the actual bow case as much as what I've found using them. You can find all the stats and prices or whatever you want to online. The two I'm going to look at today uh, are the uh, Lakewood uh, and the uh, Legend uh, archery case. Uh, what I you know, kind of liked about both of them, uh, why I chose the one I wanted to roll with uh, moving forward, and really the biggest difference is them. So it's just a, a, a real life review of me personally using it uh, and letting you guys know what I thought about it. So the first one, like I said, is the, um, the Lakewood. Uh, the Lakewood um, is, comes in right about 250 bucks. Uh, you can get them in single or double, uh, or one, one or two bows essentially. Um, the nice thing about it is you can put your entire bow uh, in the case uh, with your quiver on. It's a, uh, a carry, carry case. Uh, you can kind of see it here. I've got the, the single uh, bow. Uh, it's kind of a, like a sturdy nylon. Uh, the, it does come with a shoulder strap, but I can tell you that once you get your bow in here, um, and if you're like me, you're trying to stuff it full as much as you can uh, just to lessen your check bag or your bags you have to worry about, the, the, uh, the airlines losing, what have you. Um, it's, it's very rigid, so it did definitely protect my bow. Uh, all of my gear in it, um, but I still had to take an additional bag, uh, obviously, with me. But inside, like I said, you can, uh, it's got some dividers in there. You can fit your bow with your quiver, which is totally uh, a really nice, a nice feature. It's a hard side. Uh, the other nice thing that it does come with is two uh, additional, um, I don't know what you want to call them, little carrying cases. You can put your releases, broadheads, uh, repair kit, whatever you want to, that fits down inside of it, as well as uh, an, uh, an arrow um, folder for you as well. So those features are really nice. Again, nice nylon, very protective. It worked great. <clears throat> the downside of it is, again, you got a shoulder strap or just your regular uh, hand strap to carry. So, you know, going through an airport, trying to change, you know, what have you in and out of the car, uh, it does become quite cumbersome. And you can tell uh, that I basically got tired of carrying it. And so I started pulling it. So it did, it did finally kind of give way here. I believe now the new models, this is uh, about three years old. Uh, the new models now, I think you can get uh, a, uh, a roller kit and attach it. I just didn't want to go that route. Uh, I discovered another company that um, fit my needs better, uh, which is the, uh, the Legend. And this is the Everlast 40 um, bow case. This thing is awesome. Um, it does clock in though uh, at a hundred bucks more. So it's like 350 bucks. Um, but in my opinion, um, it was 100% uh, worth the investment. Again, airline friendly. Uh, it comes with already a self-contained uh, code you can put on it. So it's a TSA uh, approved lock. Um, again, it's a, even though it's a soft outer shell, um, it, is, it is quite quite rigid. So it protected my bow on a couple trips uh, on, uh, for elk season. Again, it rolls, uh, which was huge. You got some extra pouches in front. You can put some, you know, quick access items in it if you want to. The uh, the features on the inside, uh, which were great, uh, in my opinion. Uh, again, the rollers are the key. You do get a uh, an arrow tube with it as well. That's uh, it comes with it. It's not extra, uh, which is which is a nice little feature. And you've got tons of room. So you've got uh, these two, you know, large pockets here on top. You can put, uh, you know, again, your gear, change of clothes, your camo, boots, you know, what have you. Uh, zip up here in these nice mesh pockets. And then on the bottom side of it, where the actual uh, rigid portion 
of the case is, is where you'd put your bow. Uh, and so you've got this really nice divider uh, that uh, comes with it. So you have some additional padding. And then these straps to strap your bow down are completely uh, removable and adjustable. So you can put these, you know, any, anywhere you want. And then you've got your tie downs as well. They come with boot straps for your cams. So your cams are, your cams are protected. Uh, and then a little bit of storage that you can, you can see uh, kind of in the bottom. There's some clear pockets that you can utilize. Uh, but again, I got seven days worth of, um, you know, gear basically in here. Obviously, as we know, we're going, you know, on a, on a seven day hunt, you're not packing and changing clothes every day. So, you know, just keep that in mind. So when I say I got my gear in here, um, you know, I got my, my puffy, you know, I wore my boots, but I have a puffy, my soft shell rain gear, uh, a lot of my food, um, camera gear uh, was all able to fit in here along with my bow. Uh, clearly extra, you know, arrows, broadheads, um, and uh, that was just so much nicer to have that contained in one unit that I could actually roll uh, around an airport. It's again, TSA, you know, um, uh, approved with those locks, so you didn't have to worry about buying any any locks uh, like you would have for the for the Lakewood. Uh, again, great case. I'm not saying anything bad about it at all, um, but I think the design um, was not as friendly for somebody that's going to be traveling by air in your truck. You know, back of your car, it's great. You slide it in, slide it out, no big deal. Going you know going to the range if you want to have it protected in, in like I said in the back of your truck. I think it worked really well, but uh, for travel, um, I would I would definitely recommend the the Legend. They come in several different colors. Um, you can add some different features to it if you want, extra tubes, extra pockets, uh, what have you. So this one was pretty much um, it wasn't the the bottom. I, I want to say it was the middle of the road. And like I said, it did come in uh, at about three hundred and fifty bucks, I believe. Uh, shipping was fast, uh, and I literally just don't have any any complaints um, about this bag um, it, for for traveling with with my bow. So um, that being said, um, if you have any questions about either of those products, just want to do again a quick uh, quick review. Uh, or you know, on two of the bow cases that uh, that I've had an opportunity to kind of play with and use uh, that aren't Plano, that aren't um, you know Pelican, um, that uh, that work really well uh, in the field. So again, thanks for, for watching, um, and as always, every day give excellence.